Hey everyone, welcome to the segment weekly demo. In less than 30 minutes, we'll show you how to go from no data collection at all to unlocking the value of your customer data. My name is Tyler Gerzen. I am a lead on the Scaled Customer Success team here at Segment. And today I'm joined by Jess Bronowicki from our Solutions Engineering team. I'm only gonna spend a minute or two in this slide deck and then we'll get into the really exciting stuff. But before we dive in, I'd like to ask us to take 10 seconds and answer the question, why am I here? Obviously, I don't mean this in the metaphysical sense, but what are you hoping to get from today's session? If you feel comfortable, drop your answer in the Zoom chat. We wanna make sure that we cover the right ground here. So I'm gonna give you a quick 10 second pause to ponder that question and enter it into the chat. I'll be reading responses aloud as, as we go. Let's see, we got a uh, get a basic understanding of segment. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, get a unified view of the customer. Mm -hmm. Send data to multiple tools, collect data without an engineer. A couple more answers still coming in, but hopefully you have your answer. For most companies we talk to, the big, big problem that they're facing is that they want to be customer first. That means that they want to have world-class messaging world-class customer experience, and ultimately drive a world-class customer relationship. But today, truly building that world-class customer-first profile is fundamentally a data problem. And this data about who your customers are and what they want, it lives everywhere. And managing that data poorly can have some pretty serious consequences. Teams not only end up wasting time, but also money and resources, all while delivering a subpar customer experience. That's where a customer data platform, or CDP for short, comes in. The job of a CDP is to help you connect and govern all of that data, and then synthesize and activate that data to drive that better customer experience. Fundamentally, CDPs enable every team to drive a better customer experience. Segment is the leading CDP by market share. And in today's session, we'll show you how each of these listed teams can benefit from using Segment. But first, to frame this up, I'd like you to think about what sort of business model you're supporting. Every business follows a different set of transactions. For instance, you might be ad and referral supported, optimizing for traffic and referrals, like a Facebook or Twitter. You might be transaction supported, optimizing for users purchasing your product, like Amazon or Nike. Or you might be subscription focused, optimizing for users buying, but then re-engaging, like Netflix or Spotify. Today, we'll be giving this demo in the context of a transaction supported model for online e-commerce, but Ultimately, the tools and techniques you see today can apply to virtually any business. So through that transactional lens, today we're going to talk through first, getting started with your very first implementation of Segment. Then we'll show you how to glean insights about your current customers and how to drive more purchasing behavior from those customers. And lastly, we'll talk a little bit about how to find some new customers. These demos are meant to be interactive. So Please feel free to type questions into the Q&A as we go. I'll be chatting some responses and we'll also cover some questions in between each section. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Jess to get into the product. Awesome, thanks Tyler. Hi everyone, my name is Jess Bronowicki from the Segment Solutions Engineering team. And in today's demo, we're going to show you how to go from no data collection to unlocking the value of your customer data. So let's start by providing an overview into how data collection and routing works with Segment. Segment decouples data collection and data integration. On the left here, we have sources where the customer data your business generates is being collected by Segment. On the right, we have destinations, the places where you want your customer data to flow. Our flagship product connections enables you to collect clean, validated customer data one time from each of your data sources. We provide out of the box SDKs to collect data wherever it is generated, whether it's on your website, mobile app, server side, 
or within third-party applications like Stripe. Once your data is centralized within Segment, you'll have a reliable set of customer data for use in your downstream tools. Segment maintains a catalog of over 350 of the most popular growth and analytics tools, so you can send data to whichever tools your teams need. This here is a view of a built-out Segment workspace, and next I'm going to show you how to get here. So with that being said, let's jump into a net new workspace and start collecting data. Great. So for the first part of the demo, I'm going to pretend I'm an engineer launching a brand new e-commerce site and I want to install segment tracking. So I'm here in my new workspace and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new data source. Since I'm adding segment to my website, I know I want to select their JavaScript library. So I'm going to go ahead and create this here. And I want to add in my URL so segment knows where their code is. Great, so I just created my new source. And what I wanna do next is actually use this debugger to understand um, and see the events coming into Segment real time. So the snippet here that Segment provided me with can be added to my website by directly copying and pasting the provided snippet into the header of my code. As soon as the snippet is added to the page, it will immediately begin collecting page views each time the page is loaded, which makes it really easy to get data flowing. So I actually added the snippet to the website prior to the demo. So as I mentioned earlier, as a next step, we wanna use a debugger to make sure that this, that segment was properly installed. So what I'm gonna do is jump back to my e-commerce site and load a few pages, giving segment the opportunity to start tracking. Perfect. Perfect. So what we can see here is that the segment snippet was successfully installed. The debugger also allows me to quickly validate which data is being collected and that the events and properties look correct. In the calls listed here, you might see the word page. Page calls tell us where someone is, or in other words, which page they're on. That is just one of six calls that can be sent into segment. The next call we're going to review is called a track call, and track calls tell us what actions a customer is taking. Awesome, so the segment snippet was super easy to install, and this would allow me to get my teams the data that they need quickly. So what I'm gonna show you next is how product managers and growth marketers can expand segment tracking with our point and click tool called Visual Tagger. Great, so Visual Tagger is a tool that helps product and marketing teams easily collect data about your customers without having to write any code. To quickly review, Visual Tagger will collect track events and track events tell us what a customer is doing. Page views tell us where a customer is and track calls tell us what a customer is doing. So let's use Visual Tagger to track some events. For this part of the demo, I'm a marketer and I want to understand the customer journey through the entire conversion funnel. I want to track customers viewing products, adding to cart and starting checkout. So I'm going to use Visual Tagger to create these three events. So as a first step for my product viewed event, I want to select elements on the page that are associated with a product view. So I'm going to select the image of the product and Visual Tagger is prompting me to select similar elements on the page. So I'll click yes. Then I'll go ahead and name my events. And then I want to also capture some properties on the page like product name. Lastly, I can specify which pages throughout my site that I want the event to fire on. And I only want this to fire on the home page. Perfect. So next I'm going to select add to cart. And this page has a lot more data available to capture my properties. So I want to make sure I do that. Properties are where we capture the really granular information about an event, and this is perfect for audience segmentation, which we'll get to later. And I only want this event to fire on product pages. And lastly, I want to capture checkout started. Great, so I've created my three events and Visual Tagger wants me to test them. So I'm going to test them, product viewed, seen, 
add to cart scene, checkout started scene. Perfect. And then I can also see that Visual Tagger is properly tracking my properties as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pub publish these events. And I'm going to jump back into my debugger after going through the funnel on my live site. So I want to view a product, add a cart, and start checkout. And then I'm going to jump into the debugger to make sure that my events are properly being tracked. So wow, that was really powerful. Not only was I able to capture page views, but I'm now tracking my entire conversion funnel as well. So as the last step of the getting started portion of the demo, I'm going to connect Mixpanel as my analytics platform of choice for my website data. To connect Mixpanel, I'm going to jump into the segment catalog and then I'm going to configure it. And to configure a destination, all I need to do is fetch the API key from the set platform. So I pulled out my API key, I have it saved here, I click save. And as soon as I flick this switch, my data is now feeding down to Mixpanel in real time. So an integration that typically would have taken between two weeks and four months and required my engineering team just took a few minutes. Perfect, so that's the end of the getting started portion. Just to review what we accomplished, we implemented Segment on a brand new website. We used Visual Tagger to track our entire conversion funnel and we set up a new destination. So before we jump into use cases, I want to open up the floor to any questions that may have come up. Yeah, thanks Jess. Um, we've had a handful of questions come in. A lot of them have been around uh, this specific topic. So I'll kind of focus this here. Um, here it goes. I already have a tag manager. Does segment replace it? Sure, good question. And one that I receive often as an SE. So I'll start off by saying that every organization's data stack and business requirements are unique. Um, but segment and tag managers have a small amount of data collection overlap when it comes to data collection capabilities. Um, however, if you look at their actual holistic offerings, they're actually vastly different. Segment is a data integration tool that collects data from all of your sources and connects to all of your customer data destinations, as well as a data storage facility. Whereas you can think of a tag manager that is a tool where the primary function is to fire JavaScript pixels to send data to advertising partners. So Segment actually works really well in tandem with tag managers. And in fact, we have many integrations, including an integration with Google Tag Manager. So we recommend incorporating your tag manager into your segment setup. Awesome, thanks Jess. Uh, for the sake of time, I think I'm gonna answer a handful of these other questions over chat so we can just jump back into the product and keep moving. Sure, thank you. Great, so next I want to show you how easy it is to action on the data coming into segment. So I'm back in our workspace, our demo workspace, and I have many data sources already set up. So for the first use case, I'm going to pretend I'm on the marketing analytics team and I want to answer the question of the brands my customers are browsing, which are driving the most checkouts. So as we reviewed in step one, we know that we have Segment's JavaScript library on our e-commerce site and we, we're sending that data down to Mixpanel. So what can we learn from the site data being collected? So I'm going to jump into Mixpanel and the first view here is of um, in a, a breakdown of the events that I'm sending from segment to mix panel. This view is really helpful because it lets me know which events that I have coming in that I can use in my analysis. And it also lets me know the proportion of volume across my events. So with this in mind, I'm going to jump into a funnel analysis and begin to answer my question. So I set up this funnel analysis, which has two steps, adding to cart and then starting checkout. And the first thing that I notice when I'm looking at this analysis is that I can tell that the properties being collected by segment are available to be used to slice and dice my analytics. So this makes the data collection useful and insightful right off the bat. So while it's a close race, I can easily see that the clothing brand DC is driving the highest percent of checkouts from adding to cart. So this tells me a product ad of this particular brand is higher value than the others and users who cart these products may have a higher propensity to convert. 
So this is an example of how data collected by segment will automatically be mapped to my downstream tools, making the data useful for analytics teams to drive insights faster. Great, so for our next two use cases, we're going to jump into segments audience and identity management tool personas. Personas provides an intuitive UI to create your audience once and automatically have it synced to email tools like iterable and phrase, ad tools like Facebook and Google, and analytics tools like Amplitude and Mixpanel. So today we're going to walk through two use cases and personas. The first one being how do I email cart abandoners to drive more purchases? And how do I create a lookalike off of my highest value customers? So for the first use case, I'm going to jump into personas and create an audience of cart abandoners. So personas audiences can be built from many different building blocks, including events, other audiences, and user traits. This makes audi audience creation super flexible and dynamic. Segment audiences also have a look back window of at least three years, which can support use cases like reaching lapsed users. So I'm gonna go ahead and build my audience, which starts with adding to cart. And I'm gonna set a, a time window of seven days. And then I'm going to select did not, whoops, did not complete checkout. Perfect. So now that my logic is complete, I can click preview and get an idea of who falls into this audience. In addition to understanding who falls into the audience, I'll also get an estimate of the size of the audience. And this lets me know the scale that I can expect on my email campaign. Lastly, Personas is going to give me insight into the identities available in my audience. And this tells me where I can reach my customers. So for this audience, I can see that most of my customers have an email address available, meaning I can send this to Braze to run an email campaign with confidence. So I'm going to select Braze as my destination. And when sending data down to Braze, I can send it as an identify call, which updates a customer profile, or as a track call, which acts more like a trigger. I'm going to select identify for this use case. Great, name it. Now I'm going to jump into Braze and show what this looks like within the Braze platform. Perfect. So here we are, and I'm actually going to jump back to a user profile. Great. So this is a user profile, and what we can see here is that the segment audiences that we're sending into Braze are listed as custom attributes on the profile. So this is helpful because this means the data is ready and available to be used for segmentation, which can be used to run campaigns. So next, I want to jump into segments, and I want to create a segment using this audience that I just created. So here we have our segment, and I know that it's coming in as a custom attribute, so I'm going to select attribute, and then I'm going to search for the attribute I just sent in, retarget cart abandoners, perfect. And then the last step is to click create campaign, and I can select email as the place I want to run my campaign. And there you have it. We just walked through how easy it is to create a cart abandonment audience and segment, and then automatically have it sync down to Braze for use in our next email campaign. Perfect. So for our last use case, I am going to create another audience, but this time it is for an audience of high value users that I want to send down to Facebook for lookalike modeling. You may recall that in our last audience, we built it from events. And for this audience, we're going to build it using, using traits. My first trait is a computed trait, and it is a trait of lifetime value. So for me, a high value customer has a lifetime value of greater than 50. And this trait is being calculated by segment every time a data point comes into segment. So this is a value that's going to be updated in real time. The second trait that I want to add is prop propensity to convert. And this trait is actually coming in for my data warehouse. Perfect, so I'm gonna preview those results. And now we have our audience. So segment is going to keep this audience up to date and rerun the calculation whenever the traits are updated. This makes it really easy for me to incorporate user scores from my data science team into my audience building. 
Incorporating these scores makes sure that Facebook has the most up-to-date view into the value of my customers. So now I'm gonna send this down to Facebook and that concludes our last use case. Perfect. So what we just showed you was quite powerful. In just 30 minutes, we went from having no insight into our customers to understanding which brands were driving the highest value customers to reaching out to drive more purchasing behavior and then to finding new customers. We showed this in the context of an e-commerce demo but the same principles apply no matter which kind of behavior you're targeting. We covered just the tip of the iceberg, but the best companies are using data everywhere. We'll now open up the floor for questions, but for more information, please reach out to adrassignment.com and also visit cdpweek.com to see what we're cooking up next. Thank you. Cool. Well, we've got time for a couple questions. Um, the first one here uh, is, is one that kind of has a, a recurring theme among a couple questions. So uh, we'll go with this one. Can personas identity resolution help me identify my customers from anonymous to known? Yeah, good question. Um, and definitely a common use case for personas. So the personas identity graph merges the complete history of each customer into a single profile, no matter where they interact with your business. So whether it's on your website, your mobile app, or from an offline feed, personas is merging all of that behavior together. So for anonymous users, we initially stitch them together using anonymous identifiers across browsing sessions. So this would allow a segment to derive signals from recent browsing activities, such as favorite category. Once a user authenticates themselves, Segment is able to merge the customer's known identifiers with anonymous identifiers to transform the customer's profile to known. This also allows us to merge their anonymous activity with all of their previous known activity. Awesome, thanks. Uh, it looks like we've got time for one more. Um, this is a good question. I'm looking to build personalization into my website. Does Segment have an API or something for me to fetch those user traits? Yeah, definitely. So Personas offers a profile API, and this is a single API to query all of the identifiers, traits, and events that make up a customer's profile. So our customers use the profile API to customize their customer experience through personalized product recommendations and personalized advertising. Awesome. Well, it looks like that's just about all the time we have. So we'll go ahead and wrap up the questions there. If you have any that are outstanding, please feel free to reach out to ADR at segment.com and you'll get in touch with someone on our team. Um, again, another plug for cdpweek.com to see what we've got upcoming. And thank you all for attending. Thank you, Jess, for a wonderful product demo. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.